Hello everyone, Flares Money here. Back with another Google presentation on how to find spots in Team Fortress 2. Um, so two years ago or something, I made a video on how to find spots. It's unlisted. It's pretty, uh, you know, it's kind of cringe. Uh, and I've learned some things since then. So I thought I would make an updated video, and uh, you know, here we are. So let's get right into it. Uh, R underscore draw clip rushes two. So this is basically the well, clip rushes. If you collide with it, you basically uh, it stops you from moving any further. And uh, it also smooths out the terrain a lot, or can smooth out the terrain a lot. So like right here. Uh, if these clip rushes were here, it were it um it would like basically jitter me up. So it would go step by step, and uh, you know that isn't ideal. So. Actually, uh, uh, something with this is if you don't have clip brushes, for example, right here, um, you can actually jump in a certain spot and you get stuck in midair. So if you're a mapper, really, something like that. If you're a mapper, like, please don't do this. Please have clip brushes right here because um, I get triggered. And that's the only good reason, and it's annoying. So, uh, I'm gonna have to go to another map. On Bad World, we saw these magenta sort of pink looking clip brushes, but now there are two clip brushes the purple and the pink sort of ones. So, the uh, purple ones actually block from projectiles and hit scan. So, for example, what's an example here? Right here. If I were to sp put stickies like here, it wouldn't go into this like sort of, uh, well, I'm not sure what the word is. I guess a, I guess sort of a hole, I don't know. Um, it just doesn't because there is a purple pink brush there. But for example, Again, here, it just kind of floats in midair, sort of. And here, it doesn't. It goes right through. So, if you want to locate the sticky traps or whatever, you uh, you want to look for these. And also, it shoots right through. So, let me look at my notes here. Um, the V collide wireframe. So, basically... These are like the props you can, well, not collide with because you can't collide with these, but you, these are props and um, you can sometimes most likely collide on them except for these cones, for this cone. so you can stand on lamps and shit like that, like here. So um, no rider frames basically means you can walk through something, for example right here. There are he, these are wireframed, but this one isn't. So it you can put uh, stickies in here, and here is uh, here you count. So that's something to uh, you know look out for if you're looking for spots or sticky traps or whatever. This one isn't wireframed at all, so you can just put stickies in here uh, like that. So next one is the wall bug. Um, not sure how this is caused, but it's um, you basically get wall bugged by getting into a, a angled, like yeah, like an angled wall, like right here, and it basically you stop all your momentum, your vertical momentum gets stopped in midair. It's kind of hard on this. Ideally, you would want a bigger slanted wall. Come on, man. Come on, man. Okay, we're going to Metalworks. Here, it, it's basically, ideally, we would want a big slanted wall, like right here. This one is slanted, is clip, is partly clip brushed. 
But if you just get into to this wall, come on, man, come on. If you just get into this ball, alright, I just got it. Oh, it fell off. If you get into this wall, you basically all your vertical momentum gets stopped in midair. And sometimes it also acts like a wall. If I were to jump right here and the, the uh, wall bug was like sort of activated, I would just collide with, or I, it would seem like I collided with something on top of me, but actually there's nothing on top of me. Like right here, this is a wall bug. You, your the vertical momentum gets stopped. You're on the CL show pause. It says, Velocity 6, but you're still in midair. And you can mark the card and crit people. You're still in midair. You're, the game con considers you in midair. And basically, this is able to be done on like every slanted wall, like right here. Come on, first try. First try. Yes. Right here. And it can save you uh, fall damage. So if you were to surf into this wall and get a wall bug, a wall bug state, I guess, uh, you can get away without fall damage. So, uh, the pixel walk, I'm gonna have to go to bad water again. I'll just give a, a brief rundown because Cutcheck already made a video about it. Wall bug is basically the player going into a wall where it's a, I'm, I'm not sure how it goes, but you can stand on this. You can stand on this. And you can stand on this one. Okay, you can also stand on that one. But you basically have to get into the wall. And uh, you can stand in it. On top of it. And it's a one pixel wide uh, collision, basically. And the last one is show show triggers toggle. So this basically shows you uh, the triggers of the map, uh, like the cards. And what the fuck is there a trigger on the card? What the hell? Uh, and the trigger of spawn. So if I were to go into this trigger or not go into this trigger, I can't respawn. And if I were to go in the trigger now, I can. Same counts for this resupply cabinet, the fridge. Uh, and this is basically connected to your CL underscore end B box, which is basically a cube around you. And if you were to collide with the trigger and the, the collision box, uh, you can just resupply bind. And it's not easy. This is also prevents, for example, engineers from building uh, on places. For example, I'm pretty sure, yeah, right here. Let me actually double check. So basically, this also prevents engineers from building sometimes. For example, here, I'm not sure why there is a trigger here, but, uh, you know. The map is made by Valve, so can't expect much from them. Basically prevents you from going into things. For example, this this is a red only trigger, and uh, if or a one side only trigger, I think. No, this is a red side only trigger. If you were to go red side, you can open this door, or close it, whatever. And also the trigger for the explosion which uh, you know definitely causes no problems with any projectiles of any kind so yeah that was basically it my uh, google presentation on how to find spots in tf2 and uh, make sure to follow my only fans thank you for listening